and finally our MC arrives. Welcome back to the channel. We have One Piece episodes 467 and 468 today. And yes, Luffy is finally here. He said, Whitebeard, step aside. No, but like, hopefully they will fight together. Crocodile actually took a swipe at Whitebeard. Surprisingly enough, takes a lot of gusto. And I'm guessing it's just gonna uh, just get louder and louder from here. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and let's hop into him. <laughs> He doesn't. What do you mean? Hide after breaking out. You know why he's here. Because he's Luffy. Kobe does know. I guess he's saying like any regular person would just run be free after breaking out of Impel Down. Heard what? No way you cut away from this conversation. Oh, he's telling him that they were moving up the execution. Yeah. After getting all set. Oh, that's right. Okay, so there was still some confusion about their plan. Or some secrecy. Yeah, that means he needs to start pushing forward. No problem. <laughs> Because he's Luffy. I wonder where Dragon is right now. Like, why a revolutionary army wouldn't be a part of, like, storming the literal Navy HQ? Oh, my gosh. Dude, he is just straight up running straight to him. Go, third division! Come on, Buggy! Get in there, baby! Oh, we got, like, a, a new energy about ourselves. Oh my god, he's fast! Yeah, that's the Luffy effect, baby! What all are they hiding, man? It scares me. Yeah, what else are they planning? I'm scared, man! No, we already got the word, Marco. Thank you, though. God, he's such a unit, man! Oh, they wanted him to find out. Yeah, because they spoke in code and then said that, just straight up. It's like a chess match. Between Sengoku and Whitebeard. Just staring each other down. There's Kizaru. Oh, man. Dude, he's so powerful. After we've seen Akainu's power now, I feel like out of all three admirals, Kizaru is the strongest. I don't mean to, like, underestimate Akainu from, like, from what we've barely seen, but Kizaru's something else, man. God. Let's go! Oh, we just saved Luffy's life. Oh my gosh. Buggy and the, all these guys are so out of their element, man. They're losing faith. I like how he's marked out the Marines logo. True. Yeah, guys, I was just kidding. Oh, oh for Dragon, because I've been so close to Dragon. Kuma! Uh, dude, like the soundtrack that plays for Kuma is nuts. Oh my god, roll Ivan! I don't understand Kuma. No, you have a role as a warlord, but we've known each other. We've known each other so long? I don't understand. No, the hair! So Ivan has known Kuma too for so long. And Kuma has always also had a throwaway line back at Thrower Bark about having some having known Dragon in some capacity too. He's such a bizarre character. What are those? Um, Oh my gosh! That's a Django? Is that Iron Body? Oh my gosh! My god, there's no way, guys. There is absolutely no way. He doesn't remember you. Oh, full body, not Iron Body. <laughs> hey, he's the dude that Sanji beat up at Baratie. My goodness, I cannot believe they're here. Does he still like Moonwalk? One, two, Django! He's like, why aren't you looking? It's just... There's no way he still does that. There's no way. Hina mommy! He's just speaking third person. <laughs> yeah, so she's like, what is her nickname? Like the Black Cage or whatever? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, he had to use it at some point. He's right past her. 
<laughs> Hina failed. Why does she keep speaking in third person? <laughs> Captain Score looks creepy, man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh my god, is that a Kainu? Just standing there? Oh no. I think it is. It looked like him. Either that or it's someone we haven't seen yet. Watch us just randomly check in on like Sanji or someone during this. Chopper on his island with birds. It's just like, meanwhile, in, in South Blue, I just feel like it's gone. And I don't want to say too well, but it's going well for the pirates right now. And the Navy's going to start really having some pushback, especially with whatever they're planning. Not strong enough. There's no way you guys think you're going to stop him. Gecko Moria with more speaking lines. Let's go. My boy's really making up places. <laughs> there is no way we get a rematch. Yes, zombies here! No shot! I'm so proud of Gecko Mori. He has a real place in this war. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see Nightmare Luffy again, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Because this is a battlefield. <laughs> Classic Gecko Moria. I miss that bastard. Ace is just stressing, man. Oh man, every single little cut or hit he takes. He doesn't want to see him get hurt. That doesn't mean he can't try to save you. Dude. God, he's trying everything. He tried everything. Dude, but it's not like a fate that can't be changed. Oh no, another pack. Dude. That's all it took. That's all it took for Luffy to say. <laughs> no, guys, no, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. No, no, no. You're a little confused. I understand. I was too. You're not. He has to know deep down he wasn't changing his mind. Is Luffy really going to give Gecko Mori a round two? Jinbei! That had to be Jinbei. That's because it has salt in the water. No shot. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Thanks, Jinbei. Yo, Jinbei has become one of my favorite characters. I swear, so quickly. Oh. Another giant. <laughs> He's giving them backstory. There you go. Now everybody's informed. The worst criminal in history. Everybody's finding out now. <laughs> he revealed it. Now everybody knows. Oh my gosh. We know. <laughs> that explains everything. Yeah, because Dragon was the one that stopped Smoker, right? That's what they said. Yeah, because he said you met him at Logetown. He's such an interesting character still, too. I feel like we're going to find out to an extent where, where Dragon is soon. They're spreading the news about his son. Oh, dude. About Luffy being his son. Yeah, true. People are going to find out eventually. And that, yeah. He's just worried about them. Dude, I feel like it's gonna get to the point where we have to see a fourth gear if he's got one on, in, like, in, on, in his sleeve. Dude! The animation! God damn! That looked so clean! I love that style change. That was that was so sick. He's filling them all with like a, a new like energy. He's revitalizing them. Marco. <laughs> like I said, Whitebeard's starting to realize what Shanks meant. And poor damn Ace, man. This has to be so rough to just not even be able to fight alongside all his brothers, but just watch as, as many fall. Episode 468, let's keep it running. Oh, man. They're just surrounded. At what point is he no longer considered a rookie? I mean, my man is like a 300 million bounty. That is no rookie numbers, man. 
Uh, so many just ready to give their lives. But it's not even just saving Ace anymore. It's just fighting against this this navy, like uh, just just organization, fighting against the government in general. Uh, those are vice admirals, sir. Bazooka unit all firing at Whitebeard. Ah, he's got it. I'm ready for Whitebeard to really step in, man. I know he has to command the troops and whatnot, but... Oh, and also he said he didn't want to, like, step into Sengoku's plan of having them, I guess, overstep. God, they are cutting him up, though. He tried all he could to stop him. I deserve this. Damn. What, being put up for execution? What has he done to deserve it? Just being a pirate? Because you're brothers. He can't even help. You know? What do you mean what's wrong, Garp? A hold a helping hand? What, because he wants people to stop dying? It's too late. Like, we're here. Just accept it and just let them save you. Damn. It's sad that he's gotten to that point in terms of his mental. It's like he's like he's kind of just given up on himself. No, I was like, why are they mad? This makes sense now. No shot! What? Buggy! He's like, how did I get here? <laughs> he's like, go ahead, men! Oh. Did, was that Whitebeard talk? No shot! <laughs> yeah, I can't wait he recognizes Buggy. I guess the big red nose. Whitebeard actually took the time to say what's up to Buggy the Clown, bro. Buggy's so awesome and popular. Send them in. Yeah, are you, Buggy? Oh my gosh, there's no way they're that gung-ho about Buggy. They're gonna fight Whitebeard for him. Brother! How long can you commit to this bit? For real! <laughs> They're more than I can handle. I love Whitebeard playing into it like this. He's like, yep, sounds good, sir! Oh man, it's just reinforcing them. I hate this. All out. Let's see it, Buggy. <laughs> He's like, Buggy's actually lost it. Oh my gosh. He's lost it. He's so disconnected from reality. I join with you. The Whitebeard Buggy team up. I love Mr. Three's commentary over the, the, the collapse of Buggy's mental state. <laughs> yeah, Whitebeard recognizes they need everyone they can get, so might as well trick Buggy a little bit. There's still people showing up from the ships. Oh no, what's the plan? Change the formation. What are they doing? It's all a bait. I think they're walking into a trap. They want them to get closer. Or they're just being surrounded? Oh no. Oh wait, Squad was the one that was confronted by who well, I'm pretty sure was Akainu. <gasps> Where is he? The Calvin brothers? That's their names? Whitebeard's making his move! Okay, targeting the ships first. No, Whitebeard's smart. He's recognizing this. Yeah, rightfully so. Is that a walrus? Okay, so they're just going to turn all their attention on the ships. Dude, what happened to Squard? Pirates of the New World. I like that. Is this what Sengoku planned on, though, is the question. Oh, I want Ace to be able to fight back so bad, man. It was a lame trick, yeah. Even I saw through it. And I don't see through things like that. Oh, there's so many big players here, bro. Ivan can get the job done. Ivan and Jimbei? Man, I don't think we've even seen the full extent of what Jimbei can do yet. Being a warlord, man? 
Like, they don't stand a chance with these three together. Exhibit A. Oh! Bro, just grab the man's balls! More painful than death. The fact that Gecko Mori has probably had the most screen time out of all the warlords is the funniest thing ever. Jim Bay versus Moria! Let's go! I want them to straight up just like spar. <laughs> I missed him so much, man. I swear to God, I'll do a laugh tier list one day. One Piece laugh tier list. The shadows. He's yoinking them. He's yoinking them. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's juicing. We've seen this one. The voice changed, baby. You got bigger. <laughs> Spit, tell him, Jimbe. Where does he keep the scissors? <laughs> he split them. Oh, my God. Yes. Let's go! Warlord be warlord! Look at Jim Bay, so st Oh my god. He's so fast. <laughs> How hard is he gonna hit? Oh, okay. Hold! It's spinning! Oh, it was a delayed hit the first time. This one tap, Moria! Oh my god, Mori, you're letting me down. I'm cheering for Jim Bay, but come on, man. The fight is not over. And he just walks away. Oh my god. God, Luffy's having to go through so many. Tashigi and Smoker. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Smokey! Dude, he's actually gonna be a handful to deal with, too. Uh. Yeah, Ivan's trying to reason with Kuma. Yeah. He's gonna be fast enough to just take him down. But Smoker's Logia, he's not gonna be able to hit him. I don't think. Yeah, it, it, it can't. He, he's like, says you. Sashigi, come on! It's still not gonna matter, man. He's literally, this is some insane animation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god, Smoker! Ay, ay, ay! Please, Smoker, please! Not just because he's his son, but because he's he's powerful and he can become more powerful. And before Dragon shows up and saves him right now. Bola? Oh. Mommy! Luffy's dad saves him the first time, his mommy's saving him this time! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if she does resign right now? Deafened by my anger. Them laying a hand on him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, Boa. Uh, the hockey of Kuja. Kuja's where she, or the Kuja's the, the, her, her, like, people. He can see, he can feel her hockey, though. Is that, that's like her anger? I mean, it's the energy, but... I've been still reasoning with him! I don't know how you... Oh. No use talking What happened after Sabo Odi? Did they do something to him? What? Is this a copy? Did they kill the one that was in Sabaori? 
Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe after everything that did happen, Sabaody, they did punish Kuma. They just straight up killed him. And maybe it's just a lifeless monster inside now. It was confusing at first with all the copies and whatnot, but this is definitely the main one because he's holding the Bible. The, the copies didn't have the Bible. So maybe, yeah, he's just lifeless now. But that begs the question, who was the old Kuma? And what were what was the old Kuma's motivations in this case? Oh my gosh, there's a lot happening, dude. These episodes are just like packed to the brim with stuff. But Jimbei versus Gecko Moria was not on my bingo card. I love how quickly he took him down too. I did not expect Moria to get any screen time in this, even though he is a warlord. I thought I would let all the others have a ton of screen time, but yeah, I know he's had the biggest fight thus far. But like I said, it is really sad to see Ace's mental state and where he's at. And I guess just how helpless he he feels with uh, like not being able to help any any of them. And they're all basically dying for him. It's like this, this guilt or this weight that is just pushing down on him more and more and more as they get closer to him. But I feel like both sides have yet to show their full hand, both Whitebeard and Sengoku. And that's why, like I said, it is just like a chess match. Them making one move after another with just brawls in between. But guys, that's been it for episodes 467 and 468 of our One Piece watch through. Drop a sub so you don't miss anything else. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.